Right. We had, like you said, we did um, Bobby Jones. He had an uh, artist showcase. Mm -hmm. We've done that. We've been to the Stellars yes. twice. That was a blessing. We were able to do some pre-stellar events. We've been to Dallas a numerous several times. Several times. Time. Texas Gospel Announcers Guild. Uh, we were grateful to win third place in the artist Woo! showcase. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where else have we been? We've been to Austin, Houston, yeah. Detroit. We've Detroit. been on the, TC, the TCT network. TCT. Yes. With, uh, I'm just saying with Dan Willis. So God has blessed us to really go many places in the short tenure that we've had together so far. Ooh, did y'all did y'all kind of come slide over there with Lexi a little bit? No, Lexi I didn't see her yet. I gotta, ta I gotta talk to Lexi. You know, to next time I interview Lexi, I'm gonna have y'all on the line with me. Hey, that will work. That will work. That will work. Because <laughs> sure. so, I mean, she is so hard. I, you know, she she's just traveling everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, all working. <laughs> but I might have you on. Tell them, talk to me. She is. What What <laughs> else are you doing? What else are you doing? Uh, well, what's coming up next, and hopefully everybody will look out for it, is our EP. It's our self-titled EP. Mm -hmm. It's called Free, well, of course, because we're free. Um, it's sort of a revamp of our uh, last CD, but it's um, better production-wise. We do have a great producer, Jay Skills. Jay Skills. So uh, look forward to that. And it also has our new single, God Did It. So that should be coming up shortly, probably early summer. So please be on the lookout for the new EP, Free. Okay, now... Throughout your ministry, what are some things that you have learned as an independent artist in the gospel music industry? Oh, my gosh. Do we have enough time now, girl? <laughs> First and foremost, we have learned definitely to seek the Lord in every decision you make. Keep him first. And also, it's important to surround yourself with a very wonderful support support group that can help you while you're on your journey. Um, what else? I think we've also learned uh, time management. and it's Time also, management. You know, <laughs> keep, you know it's so, as an independent artist, it's so easy to, you can go out of the realm of what you're doing, and you have to remember that this is a ministry first because there's so much there's so much stuff that people don't see that goes on behind the scenes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So that is, you, have to, you, have to be, you have to stay grounded and remember that when you get out on that stage, you have to minister to people as well. So that's been one thing that we have learned, and that's something that we constantly pray on as well. Patience is another Patience. <laughs> and have a backup for the backup. For the backup. For the backup. For the backup. <laughs> now, I have to ask you. I have to ask you because I know sometimes that there are disappointments. You may go oh, someplace and, you know, expecting, you know, and mm -hmm. it costs a little change, you know, little pennies, you know, for you to go for it. But uh, have you ever experienced a time where that you were expecting to receive and were not able to receive? Well, I believe we received anyway because, first of all, you don't go into a place to minister expecting, mm -hmm. like, I'm going to give me some money up out of this. Because it's not about the money. Say that. Mm -hmm. Now, the money does help elevate your ministry to the next level, but you don't go in with the mindset it's about this money because the Bible says that the love of money is the, root of all, is the root of all evil. So you don't go in expecting the money. You go in expecting to change lives. You go in expecting that people will receive a word through every ministry that's there. And I believe if you go in expecting that, God will provide the increase. He will bless you and give you more. So even if we, because uh, we, we sing all the time and don't receive money, but uh, we do that all the time. A lot of the time. A lot of the time. Oh, yeah, well, not all the time, but a lot of the time. Most of the time. We do, but we have fun anyway, and we, and we receive anyway, whether it's a word um, from, from the man of God or from people encouraging us to keep going. Anything you want to add? I think you hit that on the nail. Okay. What what encouraging words? What in, before you leave? What encouraging words can you share with upcoming artists? Um, one thing I can say is I don't always say this, but you know, if you have a talent or you are an upcoming artist and you feel like that you're not where you need to be in life, God meets you where you are. Like, don't not use <laughs> your talent for His grace and His mercy, because I'm He, God. 
he'll meet you where you are. So just make sure that you go out and give your best effort to what you have. I mean, patience is another one, like we already spoke on. Hard work. It's, it's a lot. Oh, of, my God. I cannot see <laughs> all that enough is the hard work that goes on in the background. There is not a day that we don't work on free stuff, and we're like, we're lowest of low independent artists. <laughs> Like, just hard work is one thing. That's Definitely. Right. Also, um, I would say look up your resources. Mm -hmm. Stay resourceful because you never want to go somewhere and not have anything lined up for yourself. You know, it's more to just Facebook or Twitter. You need to go uh, see who's behind the scenes, talk to those people, and... Um, what else? Stay right. Uh, always, always uh, perfect your craft. Yes, perfection. If you can get a good team, that would be awesome. Because that's what they always say, marketing is so marketing is valuable. Don't spend a lot of money on your EP and then don't market it because nobody's going to know it's out there. It's just going to be great exactly. music sitting on iTunes or Amazon. So. And always continue, always continue working on yourself. You never arrive. No. You never arrive especially when it's ministry, always perfect your craft, rehearse more, vocal training, uh, work on your, your writing skills, mm -hmm. because you want to be the best that you can be when it comes to ministering for God. God gives us his best. The Lord Jesus gives us his best. So why should we give him less than that? You know what I'm saying? Always go in wanting to give the Lord more. And lastly, stay in the word. Ooh, stay in the word. Stay in the word. It's so easy to get diverted, but stay in the word. That's the only way that you're going to grow at the end of the day. And remain positive all day long. Remain positive because you will come across people that may not understand your ministry. Now, keep in mind, you need to understand what's for you and what's not for you. Singing and rapping and whatever may not be for you, you may be the best usher in the church. You may be, but whatever your whatever your gift is, stay faithful to that. Hey, you, you know, you know, I'm just I'm just so excited. I mean, you know, y'all good, y'all good. Can I join y'all? Can I? Can I sing with y'all? Can oh, I sing with man. Oh, hi, hi, man, Elder Locker. Come on, free, free plus one. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> 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 K-R-O-V-F-M Radio, my friends, my partners, my sisters, my... Woo, what can I say? God's appointed chosen vessels for 2013, headed into 14. Hey, hey. K-R-O-V, doing it live right here in the Alamo City. Don't go away because we have a special message for you coming from a group from Mississippi talking about, I'm still here. 